and just a small patch here of black beans. I've been harvesting them and collecting them in a pot in the kitchen. But as you can see, these are all good sized pods. And then letting them dry on the vine. All the vines have anywhere from three to six pods with beans in them, black beans drying. And you can see on the other side of this little small garden, there's black bean pods on most all the plants. Anywhere from three to five pods. I'll probably get maybe five cups of black beans off of this little garden. It's also getting a lot of shade from this tree right next to it, which is a 50-year-old pine. Garden number two is growing carrots right on the head of the garden here. Some are younger than others, some are older. You can see these carrots have been around for a while and they're doing very, very well. I think I'm going to have a very good harvest. I'm going to wait till frost to harvest them. I'm going to have some big carrots. And we've had very nice bib lettuce that is beginning to bolt, but still very tasty leaves. I'm enjoying salads off of these 12 plants. I've been eating salad every day for months from these 12 plants. I just come out and harvest more and more leaves. And now that they're bolting, there's more leaves than ever. And so that's the bib lettuce. Here we have the Grand Rapids, which also is taking its time now to bolt and go to seed. I have about 14 or 15 of those. And just like the bib, I've been eating off the Grand Rapids lettuce for months. And it's been delicious. And I'm going to have another salad again off of it tonight. In there I've been throwing this spinach, which I'm still harvesting from. I've got new plants, as you can see, young ones growing down there to re- uh, cultivate for another crop but all, even though these are all bolted the leaves are delicious and tasty and nutritious off of this spinach mustard and they're still going strong and creating a lot of leaves uh, sorry seeds to heirloom for next year that leads us right to the bed of Brussels sprouts I've got one two three four five six seven, at least 18 Brussels sprout plants maybe more I've never grown them but they have a really unique blue-green color, interesting shape plant. And I think they, when they sort of bolt, they grow up in a stalk. And the small Brussels sprouts grow up along the stalk and mature first. The lower ones mature first, and then as you go up the stalk, they start new ones, and you just keep harvesting them. And then we have the bed of corn, sweet corn, hybrid. It's doing much better than the very shady garden. There's more sun on these. And you can see we're getting real ears of corn growing off of every plant. Very nice looking ears of corn that need just, tassels are starting brown now. They need just uh, two or three more weeks, I think, to, uh, you can see this corn is based on the, hand size is starting to become full size and plump out. It needs a lot of water to get uh, all those kernels filled in. So, you can see one of the latest ones, the last ones, it looks like a mop of hair. Pink hair <laughs> on the tassels of this corn. So, that's bed too.